One of the most commonly used soft baits that's also super effective are shads. And these originate from the American bass market and they were first used as an imitation for shad, which are a species of bait fish that are found across North America. But in recent years, people have started using them in the UK and Europe and they're absolutely devastating for European predators too. So a shad is a soft bait with a bait fish's profile that tapers down to what's called a paddle tail. And this is cut to the shape of a fish's tail. And what happens is when you retrieve a shad back, the pressure of the water builds up on the back of the paddle tail and causes it to swim from side to side as if a fish is swimming. So in the UK, they perfectly resemble roach, perch, gudgeon, bleak, various different silverfish species. So they work particularly effectively for pike, perch and zander. Shads come in a wide range of sizes, colours and different profiles too. So there's a whole variety of, of different options to choose from. So when it comes to choosing the right shad, it really depends on what species you're going to be targeting. Now there's no set rule for this, but normally if you're targeting perch, I would use or consider a shad between three and 10 centimeters in size. If you're after Xander, I'd probably scale it up a little bit more. So lures between five and 16 centimetres and then for pike anything from 10 centimetres and bigger would be a really good choice. Another important factor to consider when choosing the right shad for the situation that you're fishing in is the profile of the lure and the size of the paddle tail as well. So I've picked out two extremes from the rage range so two completely different types of shads and I'll start off by talking about the pro shad. So this has got quite a deep profile to it, quite a deep belly, so that when you retrieve it, it kind of has a rolling action and it's got a very large paddle tail to it as well. So basically it creates a ton of movement and a lot of vibration for fish to home in on. So it's a great lure for fishing, especially in coloured water where it has a large profile. Now I've also brought out a slick shad. So it's fairly similar in a way, but there are differences. So you'll notice it's got more of a streamlined profile to it. And probably the biggest difference is the size of the paddle tail as well. So because of its more streamlined profile, it doesn't really roll in the same way as a pro shad. And because of the size of the paddle tail as well, it's got more of a pulsating, very fast uh, swimming action to it which is ideal for fishing in clear water conditions and also when you're targeting fish that may have seen a lot of other different types of lures um, that are particularly pressured. Uh, the slick shad's worked really well for me over the years. So two completely different types of shad for two different situations. Shads have perhaps one of the biggest ranges of colours out of all the different types of soft baits and it can be a little bit of a minefield at times, but you can't go too far wrong fishing a natural coloured soft bait. So something that's going to resemble a bait fish basically. So those kind of colours could be like silvers, uh, like blues. Uh, one of my favourite colours in the, the Rage range is UV Arkansas. But then if you're fishing in slightly lower light levels, I mean, we're coming towards the end of the day now, um, and if you're fishing in slightly coloured water, then you might want to rig up a shad with a little bit more colour to it. So something like hot olive or UV green pumpkin would be great choices within the rage range to try. Also, if you're fishing in really coloured water, then you can fish something really bright that's going to stand out. So. Um, whites, fire tigers, that kind of thing. They can be great choices when, for when you're fishing in really murky, muddy water. Shads can be rigged in a number of different ways. And if you've watched the previous video we did on jig fishing, then probably the most popular and common method of rigging a shad is to rig it on a normal jig head. So by rigging it this way, 
it can be fished either on a straight retrieve or hopped along the bottom. Uh, if you're fishing somewhere that's quite weedy or snaggy, then I rig them on a weedless setup. So this could be on a Cheb rig, it could be on an extra wide gape hook on an offset jig head, or it could be Texas rigged. But these are methods that I can talk about in future films. And then another way that I like to fish them, especially the ones with the smaller paddle tails, is on a drop shot rig. So some of the smaller soft baits in our ranges, like the Micro Tiddler Fast and the Slick Shad, um, work particularly well on a drop shot rig. And because they have small paddle tails, you don't need to impart that much movement into the lure to get the, the paddle tail swimming. Whereas if you were to use something like a Xander Pro Shad with a larger paddle tail, it doesn't tend to work properly because you need to impart more movement and it kind of defeats the object of drop shotting. And then shads also work well as trailers for other types of lures, such as spinner baits, bladed jigs, and skirted jigs as well. And they add a bit more movement to what is already a very effective lure. So by having a selection of different profiles, colours and sizes with you, you have a much better chance of putting some fish on the bank or boat. So if you haven't given shads a go, give them a try. <laughs>